Hello, I'm John Joe. Welcome to Line War. Today we have Keaton versus John Bolton, who is actually SE2, using a Smurf name, which uh, I don't know if you guys call it Smurfs, but Smurfing is when you have a different name. I only know of that through Command and Conquer, so I don't know if it's the same with everything else, but hey, he's Smurfing as John Bolton. So, he's getting his units to go to the energy wells, particularly. Straight away he's got this group going there, get a second energy well. He's got his the first one being built here. He's building four tanks from these factories. Which is usually how he wins uh, quite early on. He beat me very quick using this strategy against me. And he's going to happily capture this one a bit slowly, but he's heading straight for that energy well. These guys are on a blue line. Just scout out where the enemy is. The faster you can find the enemy and know where your tanks have to go, the better it is. Find a target and then seek it with the tanks afterwards. That's what his plan is. And it does beat my infantry rush quite easily so i tried to mix in a helicopter with it but it just wasn't enough production against the tanks so let's see how keaton can fare with it and my video against him use against him using this strategy will come out soon i'm sure so keaton's going for a similar thing but he's going for more barracks he's got four barracks now he also started with all his uh, territories whereas john bolton only started with four so two factories for tanks Four barracks first, spreading out and star fishing across the map. He's going to be capturing this territory quite rapidly, or at least a lot faster than John Bolton. But John Bolton's strategy is to get these tanks in and do as much damage as possible, trying to harass the enemy at the very least, if not win, as soon as possible. And if you can hinder the enemy so much, then it doesn't matter if you were a bit slower at the beginning, because you now have control over the map. So at this point, we'll have a quick look at the eco, because it can't be much different, but 272 against Keaton, who is on 296. So Keaton is definitely ahead in economy, and is looking like he's going to be ahead for a lot longer. But we'll see if the strategy pans out for SE2. Got his units going out there, going to engage pretty quick. It looks like they've in found each other. The tanks have spotted the enemy, and they're about to retreat up towards the north there. These infantry don't mind, but it is a nice little scout off. He does know what's going on, but he's not too worried. He's got six, no, seven tanks. And four of them are coming down this way, whereas the three are coming down this way. No, there's a third. There's got to be so seven. Yeah, there it is. So, they're going to spread out across that way. These units have captured the energy well up here and are constructing it now. And they're just making their way across the map. The infantry are coming in to try and block these units, but as they enter the forest, they are going to be stealthed. And these guys kind of went off in a different direction, but he's still sending one out that way. The tanks over here have retreated because he doesn't want them to be seen, I think. And they are just going to take some territory up in the north while they wait, and that is going to help them out a little bit in economy. But all these little things you do will amount to something bigger later on. Capturing that territory is 12 income, so every minute that you have that, that you wouldn't have had it before, is going to gain you 12 eco, which does pan out a bit more in the long run. Especially when these matches can last well over an hour. I have no idea how much of a gain it could end up being. John Bolton, on the other hand, has well over 9 tanks, 10 tanks maybe? So he's spreading out. He's going to be able to fill this area with tanks. But will he be able to fund it with the energy requirements right now? He's got two energy wells. And it looks good so far. But without them getting destroyed or being attacked in any way. These tanks are just going to build up in numbers. And it, I'm not sure he's going to be able to handle that economy. I think because he's got three energy wells. He's thinking he can get a bit more of a force going before he actually attacks. And that might very well be the case. I don't use tanks that often, but I am planning to start ever since I battled John Bolton. We've got some units on the ground, so Keaton's trying to cover all bases right now and have air covered and ground covered. He's hoping the artillery will be enough. He does have a few tanks as well, remember? He's just using those to capture territory now that he knows where the enemy is. He's even trying to position his Sams to capture these territories as well, so they're not wasting time. 
so far it looks like both players are well on their way to a good start. But I might just speed up this game as time goes on. There is still one unit from John Bolton over here. Just thought I'd let you know. Can't see it though. Oh yeah, we can. It's just there. We can hear the Sam shooting at it. So the energy wells come up there. I can imagine that's probably going to get spotted by this infantry unit just at the wrong time. The tanks are on the move. They're not capturing territories anymore. They're going straight in for the kill. Keaton has spotted them with the infantry over here. Maybe I won't speed it up at this point. Spoke too soon. But with these tanks rolling in, Keaton is content on keeping his tanks up in the north for now. They are moving backwards anyway. He's just trying to capture some territory as he does it. He did move that, so he has noticed it after these tanks. He's setting up a defensive line in this forest here. Not fortifications, just a line. And they will be fairly south, stealthed, but I can imagine the tanks will avoid the forest. And they don't have that much vision unless they're grouped together like this. So if they were singly, they wouldn't be able to go through that forest very well at all. But he has spotted this barracks over here. And his infantry unit did die. He can see that there's only one energy well in this area. So that's going to be very likely a good target to go for. Sam unit is trying to take on this line of tanks. But it is probably just going to get run over. As soon as these guys make it in there. Eaton is out of energy and is trying to use his tanks. But they won't move anymore because his energy well isn't constructed yet. The tanks are moving in a bit too fast. For Keaton to keep up with, but at the same time, the energy requirements for running this nice attack at this point. He is trying to build a third energy well over here. The energy requirements are far too much, and they might end up getting stuck here for a little bit while these tanks are gaining on him. The tanks are moving again. They are moving in there. This is stealth because of the forest by the looks of it. And I think that might actually be a bit confusing for John because he might be thinking that that should be visible by now because even through Fog of War, there we go, it's visible now. But even through Fog of War, you should normally be able to see a refinery. But it's interesting to know that if it is in the forest, it does still have some form of stealth. Especially against quite a large force of tanks. But that energy well, the stealth was not quite enough and these tanks are going to overpower that. And this is... Quite a big target for Eaton right now because he's got two factories here visible to these tanks and the barracks. The energy well has been lost. And SE2 is pushing down through this location right now. And you got to remember he still has some tanks left down here. And he's going to be trying to use them to take the territories behind this main attack. As it goes through it does destroy one of these barracks. Pushing through the factories as units are coming back in to try and engage, but I don't think they're going to be quick enough. There we go. Those two factories go down as well. Now, there is a bunch of tanks in the mountains, which are slow moving, but at this point, there isn't much Keaton can do about it right now, but it is giving him some time to work on something else right now. He doesn't have any energy, but his eco is going to boom for a while so that he can end up coming back in this game. I heard something get constructed out. It's over here. So in, he's chosen these mountains next. And we have two factories. One barracks being constructed over there. And the tanks are just going to roll down towards that barracks over there. And you can see he's pushing through. He's taking the territories now as well. Because when you take the territories, they stop moving. This is going to help with the energy issue that John Bolton's having. And as he does, his other tanks are going to separate into groups where they're still capturing the territory. But a couple are going to scout out down the bottom area here, which is unfortunate for Keaton right now because he's got some structures down there. It looks like this barracks is going to go down, but John is actually placing structures in this area now. And he is... Dominating this area, he wants to show the enemy that he can construct here now. This is now his home. That's the Boltons for you, isn't it? <laughs> there we go. So we got the tanks coming through down here. And they have been spotted. And through the mountains, the infantry and the artillery are going to push through. And that 
these slow moving units against artillery are going to be a problem right now for Don. It will give them some free damage if they position themselves a bit better there. That tank almost wants to run over that infantry there and it's going down. I don't know what John can actually see over in that section. Luckily, he can't see anything, or luckily for Keaton, unfortunately for SC2. But these tanks are rolling down through this section. They are trying to find where the enemy is. We can see the t infantry coming through the mountains, but that isn't reason to assume there's a structure there. And the tanks here are going to spread out like a starfish, like Keaton's original plan was. Take over that location, but John is really low on energy right now, and he needs to change his tanks out for a different production, in my opinion. He's got way too many tanks. Switching them in for artillery will help release the pressure of this energy that he's got. He does have three energy wells. He doesn't have any more that he can really grab anytime soon. So there is one over here, actually, I just spotted, which he is going for. But I think at this point I'll be switching into artillery or SAM units or... Something that doesn't require energy to free up the movement of the tanks down here. You can always change it back into tanks once you've lost a few. Or got more energy going. There's artillery in this mountain here, but the tanks can't see it because they're staffed by the mountains. And SE2 might not notice that just yet. One of them has been revealed now, so the tanks are going to try and seek that target from this orange command there. But the artillery being there might be reason to assume there's something going on over there. That might make John try and push a bit further in that direction. We do have these tanks coming into the forest area from two different angles. And John is potentially going to go north in that area. From Keaton's perspective, he's building an airfield as a response to all the tanks that we can see on the ground. But I'm not sure one airfield is going to be enough. Unfortunately for Keaton, even though he does have an airfield, he also does need an energy well or some power plants set up just so he can run them. There is a tank moving at the back end of this base. We can see a lot of infantry here that should be able to take it out, but the tank can easily outpace them if SC2 is focused on that area. But at this point, even more tanks are moving in. The energy is way out of proportion right now. He's still focused on his tanks. He really likes his tanks. And he is taking another energy well from the original location of Keaton. And he's trying to spread out even further. So what does Keaton actually control up here? So he's got some eco in, the hit in this area. Got some extra barracks. He's doing some commando tactics, sending those across. That's interesting. Have we got any vision on those commandos? Not really, and tanks' visions are pretty minimal, so those commandos might be able to get through. We'll have to see if Keaton's plan is going to come out on top there. If he can take at least a few wins over time, that'll escalate. We can see the airfield down here, which is unfortunate for uh, Keaton, because John's tanks are right there waiting. But over the mountains, it should be fairly easy to defend from. He is placing his units in the right direction. And it looks like he's trying to defend this barracks with everything he has in this area. And I think he might be able to do it. And if not, that is very unfortunate. There's only one tank left there. He's not going to be able to defend it from these guys. But he does take them away. So, we've got these units here that are going to try and protect that, tank, uh, that barracks from these tanks. Airfield is protected over here, but maybe not enough. But over these mountains, the tanks are going to move very slowly. We have this area of the top of the map there, and does he control anything down here? Just the territories. John Bolton, on the other hand, is bringing in some tanks for this barracks. It looks like he's probably going to take that out. The commandos are still not yet seen in this area. He does have some units moving out over here. Soon he will have one more energy well that will help fuel his tank army, making them even more dangerous. And it looks like he may have sorted out the energy problem. He's not moving the tanks near his base as much. He's going to bring them in when he needs them. 
Also, he has lost quite a few, and he is switching into mostly commandos now. There is a group of tanks going up towards this area of the map. I'm not sure what he's after up there, but I just think he's trying to chase Keaton. There we go. The tanks have moved through the mountains. I did miss that, unfortunately. And the artillery have been destroyed here, which was pretty much the main defense force. But artillery are moving in. The airfield does go down. Isn't too much of a problem for Keaton because he doesn't actually have an energy well to run them. But there is this energy well here as a location he could have used, potentially, if he did get some units from it. I think these artillery will be able to take on these tanks fairly well. There's quite enough of them and there's a, quite a few structures in this area to provide the reinforcements he needs. Over here there's some infantry taking on the commando. I don't know how many commandos he's got there. Not that many by the looks of it. Tanks are definitely the main force there. I want to see where Keaton's commandos are going. There we go. You can see this area here but there's quite a few tanks there and as soon as that commando gets too close tanks will be able to spot the commandos. There we go, it does get taken out. Does Keaton have any more commandos there? He does have one. Not as many. It looks like he's now going for the energy well over here to see what he can take out. He's just trying to have a look at what SE2 is doing. Which is a lot of tanks. There we go, the energy well is trying to be constructed but the tanks do spot that as well. SE2 is very much on the ball with this game right now. He has taken on anything and everything he can think that Keaton would be doing and is stopping him from actually executing his plans. Energy Well does go down and the eco for John Bolton at this point is now 980. Well, although Keaton had a big head start with economy. He is ahead still. He's got 1,000 eco, but that is not because of the same reason. He's got some extra eco structures now. And he's lost a fair amount of territory. He's even getting some boats out to try and cross this ocean here. He might be able to set up uh, a little rush over towards the enemy. An invasion is what I meant. Down over here though, Keaton is fending off the army from his main structures here, which is doing really well. His artillery are building up in quite sufficient numbers. And there is a point where artillery do start to beat tanks when it comes to the amount that you have. One on one a tank will always win, but if you have the same amount of units, I think the artillery start to outpace the tanks. And will eventually start taking them out, even if it is one to one in unit composition. But there's just a scale to the army size that actually matters changes the effectiveness of them. Okay, we've got the tanks trying to move into a different direction. The energy well is being built once again and it's going to get attacked from the other side. The commandos are into the main section of John Bolton's new base, which is where Keaton originally was. And these infantry are going to try and take out the structures. There's one tank here, there's another one at the back there. The problem for John right now is he's got so many tanks all over the map, trying to control them all at the same time is actually kind of a problem. Spotting where you're being attacked from, spotting where your small groups of units can take out the enemies, it kind of changes how this game is normally played because normally it's one big battle or a few big battles going on, but John Bolton is spreading out as far as he can, trying to cause mass harassments across the entire map. Got a force of units moving out towards Eaton's old location. I think they plan to try and destroy everything there. The tanks are moving out. These tanks are going in a dangerous location for Keaton right now. And yep, they are planning to go to the city and the uh, industries in the area. We can see a barracks there and he is going to target that. There's two there if I remember. Yeah, that's where the commandos are coming from. And they are cutting through this path. Which is unfortunate because they are getting caught off by these tanks. However, some did get through and they have taken out the energy well. Which is possibly going to annoy Don a bit. But he does have quite a few energy wells. Let's have a look. Yeah, so he's got 90 storage. Which means he's got 3 energy wells. Which are going to pretty much fund his tanks for a while. It is going to struggle for a bit. But if he controls the amount of tanks he's got moving at one time. It should be alright. 
Eaton down here does have these tanks coming in towards him, but he's got artillery in the mountains. The slow-moving tanks are going to take extra damage because of that. And the infantry are trying to body block these artillery just to allow them to get that extra bit of damage in to help defend that location. Tanks are moving in through the artillery here though and there are just too many tanks to hold off in this section of the map. But it has provided a bit of a distraction for these units to carry on moving through. They are still moving on flag commands. So they are moving a bit slower and I don't know if John can see what's going on in that section. He can pretty much see everything so yeah he can see what's going on there. But he has run out of energy. His energy issues are becoming a problem and these commandos are doing a good job then. They might be able to sneak round to this one over here. But I don't know if he's actually planning to. So let's have a quick look if he's got those moving. He doesn't. He's just going to keep him here for a while. He's taking the territory here. So he might be planning to try and construct something behind the base. We've got that, being, that island there being taken and these ships might be able to take over these energy spots because the tanks won't be able to destroy those ones. Over here, John Bolton has pretty much spent all of his capital. He does have a fair amount of income and he's building four barracks, four factories, and he is content on controlling the absolute land mass. Not too worried about what's going on up here yet. But he does have his tanks moving that way to check it out. On the other hand, though, he doesn't really have many units to defend this location. He's got some units coming in, but these might be able to take out some of these structures in the center part. Don't think they'll be able to take him all out, but it might help weaken John. And Keaton might be able to get the advantage and try and do something up here. We'll have to see what actually happens. We do have another airfield being put on the battlefield. But the tanks are there and Keaton can spot them. He is building up his fortifications just beyond the fog of war from John's point of view. Over here, though, the tanks are rolling over this army really fast. And unfortunately, they have changed their fire towards these tanks. And they're probably not going to be able to take on these structures over here. The tanks on this front line here are trying to push through the fortifications, but the fortifications are just blocking their path, not allowing them past. would like to know actually does he have those commandos still he does and he is moving them out to the next energy well that might actually help with this fight going on especially with the tanks trying to push in up here he does still have these structures down here and he is building another industry there and he's got some barracks over here pushing into the right so keaton is certainly not out of this yet but john is putting a lot of pressure on him at all areas and has pretty much divided his forces so he's got Keaton pushed up into the north and the south of the map. And his tanks are just being everywhere at the right time, unfortunately, for Keaton. And that's pretty much because he keeps on building them. He's got so much eco, it's the energy he's got to worry about. Nothing's going on too much down there. The tanks over here look like they're slowly breaking through, but unfortunately... There are far too many infantry here that will stop that tank eventually. I think he's nearly done capturing this island. He's got an energy well on the island as well. I didn't spot these uh, that when I looked at these two. So he's got three energy wells that should be safe from tanks completely. But unfortunately, I don't think that matters. John Bolton has such a large economy... He can pretty much switch into anything at this point. So I am pretty certain that John Bolton has won this. So we're pretty much watching the defense of Keaton going on now. Seeing how he reacts. The tanks are rolling in once again. He's trying to build a nuke in time. But John is sending his units in. The nuke is just here. But he can't see it yet. Because they're south structures. And he's trying to get his units to go this way towards this energy well. He's not too worried about making them go that way. He's just trying to stop these artillery from getting to him. He has spotted the nuke silo. And now he is targeting that instead of the energy well. He wants to take that out and take out the structures along with it. He's moving, using a move command. So that way they're not focused on the infantry on the ground. They are just going to plow on through and shoot anything that gets in their way. 
tanks, instead of going through this section, which is fortified, he's trying to move his tanks in through the right, uh, left-hand side, come in through a different angle. But I'm pretty sure Keaton has that blocked off too now. No, he doesn't. He's using that as an exit, which unfortunately has now just become an entrance for tanks. And the tanks are just rolling over the forces of Keaton over here. Keaton is trying desperately to try and stop this army from pushing through him. Seems to be a couple of units here, and there was a force from Keaton going forward there. But I don't think it's made it anymore. We have three barracks against two, and I think the match has ended. Yep, Keaton has unfortunately lost this match. John Bolton, or SE2, has won. Thank you for watching. Let me know what you thought of the match. What should Keaton have done to defend from all of those tanks? Thank you for watching. And uh, there's two videos on screen right now. Feel free to click on one, and I'll see you there.